Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival of This, and we return to Way of the Hunter, where we have changed map location again to go back to Nez Perce in order to try to clear out the story missions to then be able to, like, focus on, uh, going a little bit further. Like, how I want to try to do it is to get all the story that we have started on Nez Perce completed and wrapped up. Once that's done, we'll go for a weekend or two of the Hunter Classic, go after the Wood Grouse, a little bit of time there's like a refresher, take a breather from Way of the Hunter, and then we'll come back to the game to tackle the DLC that was released recently. So it is still probably going to be a few weekends to go try and get the story stuff done, but we'll see how it is. But so far, a lot of the story objectives have been pretty simple and easy to do, and a little bit more targeted. So this is the one we're going to work on first, or, well, put as, like, our main focus. So we gotta get two black bears with fitness score over 50%. So that's going to probably be two males. And I gotta check and see, what is the, uh, hunting tier for black bear? I'm pretty sure it's, okay, it is tier 6. So we'll definitely want to keep that in mind and actually change up our inventory right now, just to accommodate that. Oh, actually, we might already have that accommodated, given what I've got selected here. But over here... Is what I want to check out. Um, maybe I'll keep the deer grunt collar. I definitely want to keep the predator collar. The elk collar, I guess I don't super need. But I also don't really have anything else I can think of right now to go after for it. Okay, so that's good. Let me check my map for, like, where the nearest black bears might be. I think... Yeah, there are some need zones for them right here. Okay, they've got a feed zone there. And that one has a few in the area. So might not be bad trying to go up for the black bears there. So it's food and water. Yeah, well, actually, there's a lot of black... Okay, everywhere up along this stretch is basically black bear country. So that's good to... Wow. I'm surprised that one has a, like, drinking zone all the way down there. Okay, so black bear are very common around these areas. I'm just going to check for the time of day that would be best to go after them. Because it's basically food and water. So it looks like... If I were to try going out for, say, 3 o'clock, I think that would be a good time. Or I could try going out really late. Like, what is the time right now? I might go for that 1500. So let's go, say, 1352. That should do there. Ah, we'll make sure everything is loaded and good to go. And then I think I want to start maybe bringing the vehicle just up to... Oh, hang on. Uh, F, that's it, right? Yeah, up to that point there, and then I'll probably try doing a few predator calls. Because again, one of the things that seemed to be kind of interesting from last weekend was... Maybe you can be more proactive using the callers and just, like, trying to reply... So I'll put that a little bit more to its test and see. Uh, we'll bring out the mile. Just hop in there and go for a drive and see. But I'm not sure exactly how many story missions I have left. I think it was something like four or five. Because it is structured a little bit differently. You have like the more direct story missions that are... You get the character dialogues, the back and forth talk, the little comic book stuff opened up. But then you also have, like, these side story things where it's more like just going out for general hunting or specific species. Oh, jeez. Kind of surprised I got this close with the vehicle. Maybe I should have just kept driving instead of braking, but... It is at least nice to see that the wildlife is plentiful out right now. I just... Ooh. Just make sure... Okay, see, there are a few stragglers. Let them go by, and then we'll keep going. But hopefully that means when we go to try to get the black bears and the rest of the animals we need for whatever the missions include, it'll be easy for us. Or there'll be plenty... It'll be plentiful for wildlife. Truth be told, I might even scare, like, the wolf pack that seems to come up... come into this valley to get drinks, too. Maybe not here today. That's kind of one of the neat things, too, with how the map is, where it's not like the animals only have the single needs only go to. 
There might be some days where you will see the wolf pack along this stretch, others you won't at all. Okay, yeah, so let me just park it here. Okay, we'll get Hunter Sense active, and you know what? I'm going to go right into using the collar. I'm just going to start hiking my way up towards, like, where the need zones have been for them. Because of it being, like, needing the 50% uh, fitness... I am inclined to think that we're going to need to go after a pair of males. I don't think females will have a fitness score to them. Now, it is a predator species, so it might be different. I don't 100% know, but I'm just going off of, like what I know from the other species I've tackled. All I'm going to do is basically just keep going in the general direction I want to go, try calling with this, and seeing if we get any uh, vocal responses. Trying to, I guess this is more like trying to approach the game how it wants to be played, in a way. Set your species you're after, figure out the time, the area to check, and then work with the callers to try to get it done. I'm also going to try to be very smart about things today, too, and make sure I do use the uh, steady breath without, like, standing up. That was one thing I went kind of stupid with last weekend, was getting the controls a little mixed up. Nothing around here right now. It is what? Uh, 1411. And yeah, I've got all the zones there, so let me just get the encyclopedia for the black bear pulled up quickly. So 1500 is going to be for food. Now they're not... These aren't, like, the exclusive need zones for them to eat, because as you can see, there's a variety of spots, but... Maybe it'll help narrow it down to them being in the general area, and a call will make them kind of let me know where they are. I don't know if I necessarily want them actually, like, to be drawn in by the call, or is another thing. Because trying to get, like, the front-on shots for some of these animals is pretty difficult to get the vitals. For the bears, it's especially wanting to try and get for, like, a side shot or the broadside Just because I know they've got, like, a... Oh. Okay, just wild duck, not what we're after. Okay, just badger tracks. Oh, uh, that might be bear droppings. Okay, well. Oh no, that's moose droppings. Okay. Oh, come on, you. I tried to switch out my mouse because one of my mice has like a really bad issue with scrolling where it almost like jumps backwards on itself where you'll scroll down but it jumps up a little bit. It seems my other one here has a problem with the right uh, mouse button clicking a few more times. I'll have to try to open it up and clean out the inside a little bit, but hopefully it won't play into too much for this episode. So far, I'm not hearing anything responding. I 
Now, I do wonder one thing as well. So yeah, that, okay, it's a need zone, it's just up here. I'm wondering if the time is more so when they go to start trying to eat. So it's not like, okay, they want to be at that spot at that time. It's that time hits. Okay, now it's time to go and try to find the food. I'm not sure if that is how it operates. Yeah, this is the spot right here where I think the bears feed. Yep. Yeah. Well, they eat here often, so this might be one of the more used zones, so this is hopefully the right area for trying to get them out or find them. And we do have... Okay, so we do have black bear tracks going this way. But I don't really see, uh... Well, there is a bit of an animal trail here, isn't there? A little bit, but you know what? I'm just going to keep roaming a bit and see. I mean, I might even actually let this go with the collar, like, run itself out and then try fresh. I don't know if it's... It would make any difference or not, but maybe it's just worth trying some of the stuff out, since I've never really used the collars in this capacity before. Okay, that was definitely a bear call. I don't know where that was from. Oh, shit, I didn't have him. Well, that's why I don't know why, like, where it came from. I forgot to have the Hunter Sense active. So I'm not going to move. I'm just going to sit in place and see if I can get another response out. There we go, bring that out. Of course, I was able to get it once, and now it does not want to make another sound again. I can't even try to think of, like, which direction I heard it coming from. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so there you are back there, and it is a male making some noise for us. Oh, the wind's not really a good... No, it is an adult male, though. So he's about 150 out. Ooh. Yeah, let me get nice and steady for him. Now, one thing I do see is, like, the, uh... There we go. I want to get the second one in just because I didn't trust the first one with the front on. But I should check and see what, like, the jewels are on this rifle I'm using. Because I thought... Like, it would have come up that we had the right amount for it. And it doesn't say here. Okay, well, it's 0.338. So let me check that out. 0.338. Uh... Oh, here we go. So... 
Okay. Meters out and like I... It's like at 150, it should be up pretty high, but... See, I don't know how to actually read that, like what its output is. Maybe the firearms actually where it would tell me. Not really. Okay, not as helpful as I hope as I was hoping it would be. I think he was the only one that was making sound out here, so let me go and just check how he's like sizes up. Now, how did you do? Okay, this was the first one. Yeah, I was aiming too low for the front shot, so I'm glad I did the follow-up. Because that... That's the thing about the bears, is, like, the deer, you would probably be okay aiming a bit low on them. But when it comes to, like, the predators, I think they're more contained and, like, raised up for where their vitals really sit. So, again, the front-on shot like that's not really something you want to do. And I guess it was just, like, because of the amount of damage done from, like, two shots. That's why he got put down. Because, yeah, I didn't get any real vitals there. But let's see. Well, I did have a very good fitness score, so at least that's one of the two we need. So we're making good progress already with this first episode. Some... Uh, I'll try another call. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try going up north a bit more first. Because, like, with the shot that I took, it might be that it scared all the animals in the vicinity out. Or the shots I took, I should say. So I'll try going up a little bit north, where it says there might be more we can find, and then try doing the call again. But, again, I think that's one of the things that I've got to be a little bit or I can learn to do more, is just call actively, and if I don't hear anything, just keep going along and calling every so often. Because... I thought I heard something like a huff there. Maybe it's just like the footstep. Because uh, the Hunter Classic, you don't have like a uh, little time-wise, you have to watch for the callers... You might just kind of, well, I think I just kind of would set and only use them when I hear a vocalization out. Whereas because you do have like this little interval you want to keep for the callers for their maximum efficiency, you kind of have this thing you can walk and move between calls. Okay, uh, so this is a moose resting zone. Let me get just a little bit more north towards our marker, and I'll try calling again. But if I can get the first two black bears, or well, the two black bears we need for this mission, this first episode, I think progress is going to be going pretty good for the weekend. We might be able to get, even if it's just like one mission per day, two weekends and we might be able to like have gone through all of this. Oh, over there. It is a female. But it is also possible there could be a male with her. Oh, come on, bring him up. Like, the wind's not going to be a problem, so I could sit here and just keep calling and see if I can bring them in. Or her in. Okay, I think I'm just hearing the branches kind of scraping together. It's kind of weird, it's... Just the branches kind of hitting together sounds a lot like when you have an animal running off through the woods at times. I'm just going to do the same approach that I did with the collar... That got us the other one. Just stay in a spot. 
slowly call and see if we can get another vocal response. I'm trying to think, it was right over that direction. One of the things I'm, uh, because I usually adjust the audio to make like, uh, the game not so loud compared to my voice and everything. Sounds like there's a lot of like activity directly in front where I'm looking right now. But I don't know if that's actually like where an animal's coming in from or it's just like the way the area is right now for sound. I think it's just the way the area is, but... I still don't see any... movement or hear anything else from the bear. I feel like I may need to move off from here, because, like, there have been no more noises that have come in or calls or that. I don't have any visual indication either. So, you know what? I think I am going to pull off and away. It'd be different if I had a little bit more to go on, like I knew what they were doing, either even just visually seeing it or hearing it. But with nothing more, I'm just going to keep going. See if coming up here I can get another one in from somewhere. Now, let me check the time right now, too. Okay, so it's 1500, so... I'm going to work my way eastwards. It was... Or westwards, sorry. I always get east and west mixed up in games. I think I can... I know why, too. I'm going to work my way out to the west here, because it does say there is a need for a feeding area over this way. And this is the same direction we did get the one bear call from. I think the reason why I get west... And east mixed up so much is... I know it's north, east, south, west. But when you go to read, like, for just, like, regular English reading, you go left to right, then down a row. So I keep thinking north, east, west, south, rather than, like, the clockwise, or... Yeah, the clockwise direction it's supposed to be. I know it's a dumb little thing, but it screws me up so much in games, or... Just directions in general, I guess. I'm not sure if you guys have any quirks like that where you know it's not supposed to be like that, but you just keep making the mistake like that. I know there's all kinds of little, like, uh... uh what would you call them? Not anagrams, I don't think. I'm trying to think of how it is, because it's just, like, news, N-E, or N-E-S-W... There are just, like, little tricks to try to remember it, but again, I always just get the west and east screwed up. Okay, the good news is we are finding more bear tracks. We just need the bear itself.
Uh, but no calls. No replies. see where is that one need zone okay it is a little ahead of that spot there so it's not super close to this okay there is something running oh black bear young female though I think she's the only thing yeah it looks like she's the only thing in the area Again, I don't know if she would have a fitness score to her. Okay, no, that's just a... Oh, hang on. Now get up. Okay, no, it's just her starting to walk back. Now there's something about the animals... Some kind... Like, the general behavior of them is pretty good, but I feel like instead of immediately coming back this way... It doesn't feel like what it would do. I feel like it would stop, maybe like keep watch this way a little bit and then slowly return. That had it like automatically run off and then, oh, you turn coming right back that way. Just feels kind of weird. Now, I also don't know if I should try taking her or just... Oh, hang on, there might be multiple... Okay, I know there's her there, but I thought I was also getting... ...information from something else, too. Maybe not. I'll just see if I can maybe get a response from anything or not. Yeah, that's just her going about. Yeah, it's just her. Is there... No, it is just her. Again, I don't know if the... If a female bear would have. Because I'm trying to... I'm only operating off of, like, how the hunter is when it comes to, like, the predatory animals. Although, oddly enough, for, like, calling, she's not coming our way. I thought she, it might be a little bit more interesting to come in and check us out, but... It seems more like she's just content to roam off and stay in the woods there. So I'll try going for another minute or two... Maybe just I can find another bear somewhere out here. Because, yeah, okay, that might be why she's not coming closer. So there is a uh, need zone up ahead of her. Now, I don't actually know, like, it feels like where each animal marker is, that's almost like a subset of a certain number of animals in that spot. So I don't know if she would actually be attracted to a need zone. Like, that's not tied to her on the map. But I'm just going to try and go around her. Oh, she's making a lot of vocalizations, but I think she's still pretty calm out there. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to leave her be. Just keep... Okay, that's just a rock. I just saw, like, big black ball sort of thing, and I figured maybe it'd be worth a check, but no, it's just her over there in that rock. Okay, well, she might have picked us up by scent. I'm kind of glad she is going that way. Because maybe I can try this now 
and see if we get any other responses. But I'm a little surprised. Well, I guess maybe she picked us up by scent and I was moving too, so the combination triggered her to run off, but... Again, you gotta be very stealthy in Wave the Hunter, because the animals can pick you up pretty good. Well, as long as you seem to be moving, that is. Again, when it came to the jackals last weekend, where it was basically like... It was standing at the end of my crossbow? That felt a little strange. Or like how the wolves were basically right on us in a way, too. Like, you know, I'm gonna stand up and just do some walking. Even if I do scare a bear off, if I do just like hunker down and don't move after it's been frightened, it might not go off too far. I can try finding it. Okay, yeah, so this is a bad spot because of the wind, but maybe. Maybe there's one somewhere around here. And if not, I can always work my way back to the marker and beyond the other direction where there's a lot of, like, the drinking zones where we found with the ducks and that. That might actually be what I'll do. So, yeah, for next episode, because I think we're basically... at our time limit here. I'll see about doing a U-turn and going back the way we came. See, I'll have to end this episode here. At least it's a little bit of step forward. Like, I do wish it was a little bit more, but it might just be because of, like, how big the map is and more of this targeted hunting. It can change how the results are. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of The Way of the Hunter. If you did enjoy the video, you should give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.